Hi, I'm Joe and welcome to the channel. In this micro lesson, I thought I would do something a little bit different and peel back the curtains on something I've been working on, which is soloing. When I went to college, I mainly studied more songwriting, so I never really got into lead playing much. Anyway, I was working on a collaboration with my friend and he sent me over some guitar tracks and one of the tracks was a soaring lead line and it sounded awesome, he's an amazing player. And I was recreating it for the song and I was playing it and I had all the right notes but mine didn't sound nearly as good as his, and I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. It wasn't, it wasn't as smooth as his. And then I realized, ah, oh, I see exactly what I'm doing when I was listening to the playback, and I thought I would share my mistake with you in hopes that you would be conscious of it when you're playing your solos to hopefully create smoother solo lines. Let me go ahead and grab a guitar, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's take a listen to my buddy's track, just so you can hear kind of the lead line that I was going for. So that was the part I was going for, and I <laughs> rebuilt the track inside of my DAW here, and let me show you what I was playing. <laughs> and forgive me, I have a fuzz pedal on, so it might be a little bit uh, noisier than, than usual here. Um, this is what I was playing. So that's what I kind of was playing, and if you notice, that just doesn't sound very smooth. And I was driving myself crazy, and I got the right notes here, what's going on? And it wasn't until I listened back and I realized, you know, there's a lot of space that I'm leaving, and I'm playing these notes more staccato. I'm chopping it off. Especially those end notes. quick that was. So it wasn't until I re-listened to my buddy's uh, guitar playing that I realized, you know, he's so smooth, all of his notes are blending together. And at the end of the day, what's happening here is I'm not doing the proper note duration for the notes, especially for my ending notes. So nothing sounds smooth because nothing's kind of rolling into each other as far as the beats go. So let's try it now with a little bit more of a smoother approach, letting those notes ring out for the proper duration of time. So if you think about it, if you're playing like a quarter note, make sure you play it for that full quarter note value. See how much difference that makes? That's just a, such a smoother experience besides the sloppy playing, <laughs> but the notes, if you listen to the melody line, it just sounds smoother than this. And I realized this too, I, I wonder if this is kind of subconsciously I was doing that staccato thing because I realized that I'm not a very good singer, so a lot of times I am kind of doing more staccato singing when I'm doing phrases, and I'm wondering if that's coming out of my guitar playing. This was a little bit of a revelation for me, to be honest. So let me go ahead and play it with the track and try to do now a smoother version. We're gonna hold out the notes for the proper duration of time. So to me, that just sounds a lot better. So hopefully the takeaway for this is 
Pay attention to how you're phrasing your notes, and especially on your end notes, make sure that you're holding them for the proper duration that, require, that it's required for the beat of the music that you're playing against. Well, that's another micro lesson down. Hey, if you found any value in this video, please do me a favor and consider helping me grow the channel by subscribing down below and hitting the like button. All these things help me out a lot and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And while you're down there, if you have an idea for something for a micro lesson that you might like to see, please leave it in the comments below. I appreciate your feedback. As always, I wish you a great day.